We can tell you that uh, Temple Hospital confirms that Trout worked for the health system very briefly. They say they say at the time that he was hired that he passed all of his background checks and he no longer works for the health system. Again, this was a person who worked for uh, EMT agencies all over the county. And according to the Miami-Dade prosecutor's office, he was found with graphic images of children performing sex acts on his cell phone. Sir, you have a good attorney. Listen to what he tells you and make sure you keep all future court dates. A judge tells Seneca Trout to listen to his Florida-based lawyer. This on February 15th. The Montgomery County EMT, sources tell us, has worked in companies from Ambler to Skipback and volunteered at several organizations throughout the county, recently working for a Philadelphia-based health system. Skipback Ambulance tells NBC10 Trout failed to show for work several weeks ago, and that was the last time he was at the station. In a statement today, officials there say... Seneca Trout has been suspended pending further investigation, and they're just learning of the charges against him. Skip Back Emergency Medical Services condemns the activity that Mr. Trout has been charged with, and we find it inexcusable from any employee or volunteer. Trout appeared in court after his arrest. Court documents show he was charged with child pornography. According to information from the Miami Dade Police Department, Trout was on a cruise ship when Border Patrol agents checked his cell phone once the crews returned to port on February 14th. The Border Patrol and police have not said why Trout was targeted by agents, if there was anything that led to the search of his devices. But they do say they found graphic images of children engaging in sex acts with adults. There was no answer at his Audubon home today. Neighbors say the area is one where they're comfortable allowing kids to play. Sources tell us Trout has worked and volunteers for multiple ambulance companies over the last several years. We asked the Miami-Dade prosecutor's office if it will be investigating where the videos came from, if they could have been downloaded or created in Pennsylvania or Florida. We were told the case is still in the early investigative stages. And we have checked with law enforcement agencies here in Montgomery County if they have been contacted by authorities in the Miami area. They say so far they have not been contacted, but we have been told by investigative sources that if folks have information pertaining to this case, that you should reach out to your police department. Reporting live in Audubon, Montgomery County, Deanna Durante, NBC10 News. All right, Deanna, we know you'll keep us posted on this story. Thanks.